Hello friends. Welcome to another new video from the Business Story and Biography channel. In today's video we will learn the success story of Amaris Hersbergen company business. Amaris Hersbergen Corporation is one of the largest pharmaceutical services companies in the United States. The firm distributes pharmaceutical products and services to healthcare providers, including hospital systems, physicians' offices, alternate care and mail order facilities, independent community pharmacies, and regional chain pharmacies. It also provides logistical expertise, contract packaging services, and product marketing services to its manufacturing customers. Amaris Hersbergen was created out of the 2001 union of Amaris Hers Health Corporation and Bergen Brunswick Corporation. History of Amaris Hers. In August 1985, the company that would become Amaris Hers was incorporated as Alco Health Services and held an initial public stock offering of 4.7 million shares. The history of the predecessor Alco Health Services can be traced to 1977, when a diversified conglomerate, the Alco Standard Corporation, entered the pharmaceutical distribution business by purchasing the Drug House, a major wholesaler operating in Pennsylvania and Delaware. Alco Standard was the brainchild of entrepreneur Tinkum Veal II, who had built a multi-million dollar conglomerate on the principle of corporate partnership. Veal sought to acquire healthy, owner-managed companies in the $5 million to $10 million range. He allowed each company practically full autonomy, while providing support in legal and tax matters. When Alco Standard was incorporated in 1960, it was a modest $5 million chemical company. By 1968, sales were $140 million, coming from 52 subsidiaries with products ranging from stamped metal parts to wax paper. Shortly after Alco Standard's acquisition of the drug house, the company began to build a network of drug wholesalers. In early 1978, Duff Brothers of Chattanooga, Tennessee, was acquired, and later that year Marson Medical Supply Company of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, was purchased. Gear Drug, with annual sales of about $45 million, was acquired in 1979. Headquartered in Charleston, South Carolina, Gear foreshadowed an expansive drive southward. By the early 1980s, Alco Standard's pharmaceutical distribution network was the third largest in the nation. Alco Standard soon made other acquisitions of pharmaceutical wholesalers, including Kaufman Latimer of Columbus, Ohio, Smith Higgins of Johnson City, Tennessee, Strother Drug of Virginia, and Brown Drug, which operated in South Dakota, Iowa, and Minnesota. At the same time, the drug industry itself was undergoing intense change. Healthcare expenditures in the United States were on the uptrend, amounting to about 10% of the gross national product by 1985. As the population grew older, the healthcare industry promised continued growth. Alco Health Services grows as an independent operation. In 1985, Alco Standard's drug distribution operations were spun off into a separate company, Alco Health Services Corporation. Alco Standard retained approximately 60% of the new company's stock. The new company continued to use Alco Standard's administrative functions on a few bases. Alco Health was led by John H. Kennedy as chairman and Joseph B. Churchman as president. Shortly after Alco Health began to operate independently, it acquired the Valdosta Drug Company of Valdosta, Georgia, with $22 million in annual sales, and the $100 million a year Myers & Company of Tiffin, Ohio. These two acquisitions helped push Alco's sales over the $1 billion mark. In the early 1980s, Drug wholesalers found new ways to support the independent drug retailers that comprised nearly 60% of their business. Wholesalers offered more non-drug products, including hospital supplies and health and beauty aids. Alco Health sought to strengthen its independent customers by sharing its own primary strength marketing. By offering services such as in-store merchandising and group advertising, wholesalers could help their customers compete with the growing drugstore chains. Alco Health introduced its retail support program in 1982. Such support tactics as customized price stickers gave a boost to those independent druggists who participated. A year later, Alco introduced a complete line of medical equipment for home use, from wheelchairs to disposable syringes under the Total Home Healthcare program, which provided independent retailers the marketing support they needed for such products through direct-to-customer delivery and accounting assistance. Okay so, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And thanks for watching. If you like the video please like, comment, share and subscribe now this official YouTube channel. Bye.